Hello and good evening listeners. Welcome to our weekly English program Kaleidoscope. Listeners, in our today's program, we have an interview with Dr. Santosh Ghatpande. The topic is music therapy catching the rhythm of life. Dr. Santosh Ghatpande is a certified music therapist with more than 10 years of practicing experience in transforming lives with music. Since 2012, he has achieved successful transformations in more than 4500 counseling assignments including executive coaching using music as a medium to bring about positive changes he is also a research faculty at children's university in gujarat for prenatal music therapy he is also a founder at anahat music therapy an organization specialized in music therapy training consulting and services and the interviewer for this program is ketki gadre who is a music enthusiast and a digital marketer by profession hello listeners this is ketki today we are going to talk about an interesting topic that is music therapy for that i would like to welcome mr santosh ghatpande who is a certified music therapist who has been transforming lives from last 10 years through music therapy welcome santosh thank you ketki so santosh let's start by addressing the elephant in the room my first thought directly goes to the word therapy so what can you tell us about that yes in india therapy is an abused word people yes. shy away from going to a therapist right. because they think that there is a problem which needs to be there to apply therapy exactly so which is not required not necessarily you have to have a problem music therapy especially is a therapy which deals with so many important areas of life which are not considered as problems or diseases for example concentration improvement anger management memory improvement confidence improvement all of these are application areas of music as a therapy so you don't have to have a disease or a problem to go to a music therapist especially secondly music as a therapy is an enjoyable therapy you don't feel like you are going through a therapy and uh, you are having a therapist who is applying a therapy to you it's just music as a therapy so listening to music incorporating some of the techniques hmm. is the way to do music therapy okay so we can say that music therapy is a therapeutic as well as a healing process which can be taken for general well being as well am i right yes yes absolutely so general well being is also one of the important aspect of music therapy hmm. through music we incorporate positive thinking positive thoughts in somebody's life which can transform so that's a very good understanding of music therapy okay so what is the exactly meaning of music therapy so there are so many important definitions that you will see about music therapy on google but the definition that i have been practicing for so many years is music therapy is spa for the brain when we do certain good things for ourselves we always forget about brain as an organ we always do certain things for body but brain is the most important controlling factor of our body and we always forget that right we always do good things like when we talk about exercise we always do bodily exercise we never do a brain exercise or for example when we talk about uh, taking a rest we always think about sleep but sleep is an rest for the body not for the brain brain is still active right. so music therapy actually is a best thing for the brain what happens is while doing a music therapy 17 areas in the brain gets activated with the help of music there is no comparison with any other activity no other activity in the universe can activate so many areas at a time and these 17 areas are from the left brain as well as the right brain and right brain activation is very important because all of us are becoming more and more left brain oriented because of our routine but right brain is required when we want to do certain innovative thinking or we want to find new solutions to new problems all of us are dealing with this covid situation for last 2 years so all of us are dealing with new problems in our daily life 
So if we want to find new solutions to that, our right brain has to be activated. Exactly. And music therapy does that beautifully. Very interesting. I didn't know that so many things happen in the brain while listening to the music. I just thought I'm just listening the music. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So can you explain difference between listening to music as an entertainment and as an music therapy? Okay. So when we listen to music from an entertainment perspective, there is no objective or there is no design angle to the listening. We just listen to it and uh, sometimes relaxation happens, sometimes mood changes. So that's it. But when we listen to music from a therapy perspective, there is an objective which is defined. So what change is required? What is the positive transformation which is required in person's life? Accordingly, the music to be listened to or the techniques to be incorporated are designed. Okay. So there is a design angle in the music therapy as well as there is an objective. Okay, so as you said, all of us listen to music in different ways. I also listen to music while I drive. So when you call a therapy, are there any specific techniques for music therapy? Yes, so I uh, understand that all of us listen to music, especially while driving people listen to music. Hmm. But listening to music is one of the techniques of music therapy. All okay. of us do that. Nice. And uh, along with that, I would like to highlight one more technique which is using your own voice. God has given every one of us a unique voice and 70% of the people just don't use it. Mm. They shy away from singing because they think that their voice is not good for singing. If you go back to the origin of music, music is originated as expression of human emotions and right. later on it converted to an art form. So if it's an expression of human emotion, then everybody should be allowed to express it freely. Hmm. So that's where this using your own voice is very important phenomena in right. music therapy. Right. You should sing away openly and there is no need to go to a bathroom. Bathroom singing, <laughs> uh, according to me, is a <laughs> false kind of a synonym. Right. All of us should be allowed to sing freely whenever we feel so that our own voice is used as a therapy because scientific experiments have proven that your own voice is the most powerful and most positive voice hmm. for your own brain. Right. Even if people around you may not like it, but for your brain is the most important voice. Right. So you should sing whenever you feel like. Yes, very good point, sir. That brings me to my next question. The people receiving this therapy, are they necessarily patients? Not necessarily, I would say, because uh, patients also can receive music therapy and that's a very good application area of music therapy. And we are going to talk about it in the next part. Okay. But um, even the common man can incorporate music as a therapy in his daily routine for certain improvement areas. So they are not necessarily patients who are having diseases. Hmm. Any person can use music as a therapy okay. if he wants to bring about positive transformations, especially the removal of negative thoughts, stress management. Okay. Universally, okay. it has been recognized that music is considered as the most effective technique for stress management. Right. And everyone deals with stress in today's life. Hmm. So music therapy is a beautiful answer for stress management. Okay. What is the typical structure of a music therapy session? So music therapy session is structured in a way wherein we understand the history of a person. Okay. Response of a person to a song differs hmm. because of his upbringing, financial background, understanding of music, his nature and so many other aspects. Okay. So we cannot have a generalized set of music which will be applicable for everyone. So what happens in the music therapy session is in the first 30 to 45 minutes, a person's background and hmm. history is hmm. taken wherein we understand uh, all the aspects about him or her. And then accordingly, a music therapy solution is designed. Okay. Why I'm talking about solution is um, music therapy is not just about listening. So there are some other activities or the, there are some other techniques which are also suggested right. for a person, hmm. but which are suitable for his or her objective. 
so in okay. a therapy session we first understand the history then design the solution and in the current world we also allow the person hmm. to take away the solution with him okay so is it necessary that uh, people need to be present at the venue or can the session be done online yes that's a good question considering last two years <laughs> right exactly uh, right. for the first eight years i have been working on i i never thought or never explored the online platform for mm. therapy mm -hmm. i was always doing it in a physical format okay but in the last 2 years there is a sudden increase in the demand for music therapy because people have understood that there is a lot of stress hmm. and there is a lot of negativity that which was uh, causing a lot of harm right so that's where the online music therapy is equally efficient hmm. and it can have a definitive impact right so it's not necessary that the person needs to be present or physically in front of me hmm. Hmm. to do the therapy session these uh, history can be taken on the phone right. and music therapy solution can be sent uh, via right. online media okay so okay. it's not required that somebody right. needs to be present so uh, now we are going to end this part one so any tips will you give to our beginners absolutely yes so i would like to compare this with your exercise routine all of us at least think about doing exercise in a daily form so 15 minutes 20 minutes of exercise all of us do hmm. similarly if we can incorporate 15 to 20 minutes of musical routine in our daily lives hmm. that will bring about more positive changes what kind of music you can define a schedule for example if you are listening to music in morning and if you are listening to music in the evening in the morning you should go for a slow paced music slow calming relaxing music and in the evening after the day's tiring work you should go for a fast upbeat music because mm. that's the time that you need an energy booster that's mm. not the time that you should go for a slow paced slow, music right so right. that's the routine that somebody can follow secondly also uh, try to incorporate some of the instrumental music especially the instruments like flute santur sitar mm. violin are therapeutically very important so okay. you can listen to instrumental music for 15 to 20 minutes and these tips definitely will have a therapeutic impact of listening to music in your daily lives and uh, you will probably experience the state of bliss right thank you sir for this valuable tips thank you so listeners we will meet next week and we will get to know how exactly the music therapy sessions done and some case studies in next part thank you so much thank you so listeners that was an interview with dr santosh ghatpande by ketki gadre on the topic music therapy catching the rhythm of life hope you enjoyed listening to this program we will be back next week with the second part of this interview until then thanks for listening and please stand by as our next program follows